haven't shared with you unbundling in a while and I thought you might like to see some things that I've been making. So today I've been working on this beautiful silk cotton blend country road top and I've used all different types of eucalyptus and eucalyptus flower buds are out and about at the moment. Look at how shiny that is. It's like the eucalyptus has got like a, a, a sheen to it. So I'm just going to take a look at some of these ones underneath because it is a blend it's going to do different things but it's still really beautiful I like working on things that aren't always white this has got a beautiful tone to it this gray that it already came with oh this is beautiful look up here I found a branch of um, a red box and the leaves were in the shape of love hearts so I've used those on this one I'm just gonna actually give that a little flick move on to the next one so this is a beautiful merino fluffy merino scarf this is the biggest one I've made yet out of this fabric Ooh. so I like to use um, little bits of everything to make sure that there's going to be something that works there's nothing worse than using only one plant and finding out that it didn't work so I've got a little bit of everything in there and I love working with these flower buds at the moment. They've got this beautiful shape to them and so there's a lot of them in this print. So I'm just going to unroll that. And just peel these ones off and just flake this out. And so these flower buds, it's interesting to see when they start flowering. The actual blossoms themselves don't make a beautiful red mark, but the, the gum nut casing of them does, and I've used some of them in this. I'm going to open this up now. And if you come and take a closer look, I'll show you some of those flower buds I was talking about. See here? These ones have bloomed, whereas others haven't. And let's have a look what they look like underneath. They just make these little little caps, which I think is really interesting. So I've used them quite a bit. There's some more up here. And, here. and these ones were actually um, had been sitting out for a little while and were dried. Oh, I love that. This one's peppermint gum. So I put a few little pieces of the peppermint gum on there that I've been hanging on to for quite a while now. And this is a lovely one. I'm not sure what this eucalyptus is called, but it, it is indigenous to the, the Yarra Valley because I, I see it growing everywhere. And this is casuarina. It's beautiful because it makes these dancing dashy stripes. And there's some, another love heart from that red box. Mm. Shall I give it a flick? How does it look? Good? one more to open and this is an op shop find. I love it when I find wool or silk at the op shop and this day in particular I found a woolen scarf and a silk scarf so this is the woolly one. <clears throat> I've gotten really keen with my sense of touch now when I go op shopping I just I shop with my fingertips. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Oh so lovely. It smells so good. I used a lot of the flower buds in this one too. Let's, I'll give this one a shake too. It's like a painting. Maybe it goes this way. Thanks for watching.